It's Patrick and Pals. The gym is continuing on. We've got the plasma cutter put away. And the turbo is going back together. And Jim, what were you just telling me about the fasteners on this Mercedes-Benz? Well, most of these on the exhaust and stuff, they're made of a stainless steel. You can see them, they don't stick to the magnet. And stainless, it, it galls up. And then with the heat on top of it, that causes problems. That's why I had a problem with the bolt in the back. And so you couldn't get it off. Now the remains of that bolt are right here. So this, the plasma cutter cut that off and then we were able to screw it out of the engine. Yeah, take after it I out. got the turbo out, I was able to screw it out of the turbo. Now do you have the old part, Jim, that was defective? Yeah. Okay, so show us how this is supposed to operate. Well, it's got veins, flaps in the intake that open and shut. Okay. And this little electric motor is supposed to spin this uh, and move it and open and shut them. As you can see, this one doesn't move. Oh my gosh, it doesn't move at nope, all. Nope, it's seized up. And that's what was causing the problem. The, the computer would send a signal to this and it, it shorted it out and blow a fuse and then put the vehicle in, a, in what they call limp mode where it wouldn't go anywhere. So, so the driver, the what they experienced was they couldn't go over 25 miles an hour because it was a limp mode, right? Yeah, that's correct. Okay. All right. Well, looks like you've got this job on the way back home. New part is in position, and the old parts are going back on top. This customer should be ready to roll by this evening. If you've got a Mercedes Sprinter, bring it to PALS. We've got the technology to fix it. See you soon.